This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a chain letter mailing list, and I've seen Grim Cuddy, a new horror thriller movie from director John William Ross. It follows the events plaguing a small community, primarily through the eyes of a high school girl named Asha, as rumors spread of a dangerous internet challenge that has led to several teenagers harming themselves. When Asha's parents learn of this challenge, they do everything they can to prevent her and her brother from taking part, much to her disapproval. However, this is only the start of all of their problems when Grim Cuddy himself materializes. Attacking Asha with slashes that her parents believe were self-inflicted. Despite this, she continues to dig into where the story of the internet challenge came from in the first place, all while having to contend with her parents' growing paranoia and fear, leading to a conclusion about Grim Cuddy's powers, which honestly goes a bit to waste when you think about it. I mean, for the most part, the story isn't a complete wash, but it's still pretty lazy in its execution. The themes and topics are hardly treated with any real depth, and on a genre level, it's not even as scary as I assume the filmmakers wanted it to be. It's pretty much just jump scares and fakeouts, spaced out between a handful of scenes that tend to repeat themselves to really lay in the basic conflict going on between the parents and teenagers of the town. It doesn't help that the conflict itself is heavily weighted towards exaggeration, putting the parents in a cartoonishly stupid position that effectively ruins any sort of dimensionality they might have had outside of being accidental pawns of the monster. Speaking of which, the twist about what causes Grim Cuddy's presence is actually somewhat interesting, and if the story were written around it, then the film's topics of paranoia in the internet age could have had some potential. But instead of doing anything out of the ordinary, this detail pretty much gets set aside as just a means of defeating the monster. Which reminds me that the film introduces the notion of calmness as a means of fighting back, but it gets ignored just as much as the other concept. All that's left is more or less a basic framework of horror cliches supporting a story which admits at the end that it doesn't even have all the answers to the questions that it sets up. Basic is a bit insulting, but I'm going to keep using it to describe the technical details of the film. The plot already feels like a whole lot of little tropes being checked off one by one, and the actual production does little to nothing to make it at least worth sitting through. The actual camera work is very bland, making almost no effort to try anything creative with framing or even hiding the monster. Which, I might add, looks completely silly no matter how much they try to hide him in shadows or how loud they make the jump scare noises. It doesn't help either that he's revealed in full within minutes of the film's start, removing any potential mystery and just making him look like a goofy home invader. The only actual evidence of cinematography comes in close-ups meant to emphasize fear and paranoia, but that only goes so far before it loses whatever effect it might have had. Everything else is pretty much a cavalcade of laziness, from these production details and the overall lack of a distinct visual style, to the actual story and the treatment of its material, or rather, its lack of a clever treatment. There are hints of something original hidden under the layers of cliché and fluff, but those little bits are the best that the movie has to offer, with the rest just being basic supernatural slasher horror fare. And even then, nobody actually dies. Is that a spoiler? I don't care. 
Grim Cuddy. John William Ross, 2022. Mm, one star. I don't recommend seeing this. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. One other thing, Grim Cuddy is such a dumb name. I don't know if that was intentional, but it's just so stupid that you can't take anything else about this guy seriously.